So now we're going to talk about how we actually estimate the regression parameters in our model. The method that we're going to use in this class, and by far the most popular method in statistics for estimating linear regression parameters, is ordinary least squares. And ordinary least squares estimates these parameters by finding the values of beta naught and beta 1 that minimize the residual sum of squares. So before I can explain what the residual sums of squares is, I have to define a few other quantities. So let's say that we have estimates for beta naught and beta 1. So we'll call them beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. The hat here uh, means that these are the estimated values of our parameters. They're not the true value. They are the estimated values. So we have estimated values of beta naught and beta 1. And a fitted, the fitted value for observation i, it's a, the estimated mean response at the observed values of the regressor variables. In the simple linear regression context, it means that for the ith observation, we plug in xi into this formula, and the value that we compute from that is the ith fitted values. And it's going to be the estimated mean response for the ith observation. And sometimes we don't want to specify a specific value of xi, and so we can talk about the more general fitted line, which is just the estimated mean response when we have generic values of x. So I don't have a specific value of x here, uh, but the mean response is a function of the regressor variable is going to be beta naught hat plus beta 1 hat x. And so this is a line. It's the estimated mean function as a function of our predictor variable x. So once I'm able to compute fitted values, I can compute something called a residual. Now the residual for the ith observation is going to be the difference between the ith response and the ith fitted value. And we're going to denote the residual by epsilon i hat. It's sort of like the estimated error for the ith response. So the residual sums of squares, then, is the sum of the squared residuals. So it's the sum over all, observation of, uh, uh, the sum over all observations of the squared residual for each observation. So it's the sum of epsilon i hat squared. And by substitution, epsilon i hat is defined to be the ith response minus the fitted value for the ith response. We're going to square that difference, and we sum those square differences. And the way that we compute the ith fitted value is by plugging xi into our, our fitted line here, where we have estimated parameters beta naught hat and beta 1 hat. And ordinary least squares estimation finds the estimates, the, or estimates the values of beta 1 and beta, beta naught and beta 1 with the values of beta naught hat and beta 1 hat that minimize this residual sums of squares. This might seem like a really difficult problem, actually. So you might think, well, how in the world would I choose what beta naught hat and beta 1 hat are going to be? Uh, I'm going to find the ones that minimize this particular sums of squares. In fact, you can do this analytically, and we'll see that in just a few minutes when we derive it on the next page. Uh, but in the meantime, I want to give you guys a visual picture of, of what exactly is going on here. So I have my x-axis, I have my y-axis, and I've plotted a few different data points. We have five observations here. Each observation is this, this open black circle. And I have a fitted line here. Okay, So this little dotted line here is a fitted line. It may not be the OLS line, uh, but it's going to be, but it's a fitted line. It's the line that we get when we estimate beta naught and beta 1 hat with some estimated values. So the residual for each observation is going to be the difference, the vertical distance, between each response and that fitted line. Okay, so it's the length of this blue line right here, and it can be ne it'll be negative if the response is below the line, and it'll be positive if the response is above the fitted line. And what are the, what are the fitted values for each of the observations? Well, the fitted values are essentially what happens if we draw a vertical line that passes through our observation and hits that fitted line. Wherever that line hits the fitted line, that is going to be our fitted value. So if we draw a vertical line up from this observation, you can see that it hits the fitted line right here. And so this orange dot is the fitted value for the first observation. This is the fitted value for the second observation. This is the fitted value for the third observation, and so on. So we have the observed values, the vertical distance between at least we have our observed values, we have the fitted line. The vertical distance between the observed value and the fitted line is the residual. Uh, and it's a sign difference, once again, so if the observation is above the line, it's positive. 
it's below the line that's negative. And wherever that, uh, that vertical line hits the fitted line for each observation, that's going to be the fitted value for that particular observation.